Las Vegas real estate market, January 2015 housing market. The Las Vegas real estate market has experienced monthly price appreciation from 2012 to mid-2014. However, price gains have subsided in the past six months and the median home prices have been flat. We believe that this trend will continue for the first part of 2015, followed by small and gradual decreases in sales prices for the remainder of 2015. In this video, we will discuss forces that will shape the Las Vegas housing market for 2015, and they are 1. Banks are resisting price cuts with all they've got. The difference between the Las Vegas real estate market in 2015 and 2007 to 2011 is that the same banks that instigated the huge price drops in the Great Recession are resisting any price cuts with all their might, and mighty they are. The number of Las Vegas short sales and foreclosure homes, condos, and townhomes listed in the Las Vegas MLS has been steadily shrinking since 2012 and their total share is down to 18.7% of listings. 10% of homes, townhomes, and condos sold in December of 2014 were short sales and another 8% were foreclosures. The majority of Las Vegas foreclosures are initially listed at much higher prices than the highest comps with gradual price cuts until sold. It is not unusual for bank-owned homes to stay on the market for months and short sales offer minimal discounts at the time of approval. Another contributing factor to keep the short sale listings down is the U.S. Congress refusal to extend the Mortgage Forgiveness Debt Relief Act of 2007 for the current year. In December, Congress voted to retroactively extend the tax break it had allowed to expire at the end of 2013 to help distressed homeowners who sold properties in 2014 but not for 2015. Two, let's discuss flat median prices for Las Vegas houses, condominiums, and townhomes in the past six months. Even though the median price for Las Vegas, Henderson, and North Las Vegas homes show about 10.1% appreciation for 2014, most of the appreciation was gained before July of 2014. For example, the median price of sold Las Vegas Valley houses for July of 2014 was 200000 and for December, the median price appreciated by 2% 2 to 204000 As for condos and townhomes, we totally disagree with the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, GLVAR, market reports that state the median price of condos and townhomes is appreciated by 9.4% in 2014 because they add up high-rise condo statistics to regular condos and townhomes, which leads to significant errors as we have discussed in detail in a previous video. Here is our median numbers, which we calculated by excluding high-rise condo data from our calculations. As you can see, the median price of Las Vegas condos and townhomes, excluding high-rise condos, has been hovering mostly in the $98 to $100,000 range, and is unchanged for the year. As you see, the Las Vegas home, condo, and townhome prices have been pretty much flat in the past six months, and that is what the buyers and their agents have to know, and we are one of the few that do. Three, inventory of available Las Vegas homes, condos, and townhomes. As of January 1, 2015, we have about 7,730 homes and 1,945 condos and townhomes listed in the Las Vegas MLS that are not under contract. An average of 2,070 single-family homes and 428 condos and townhomes have been sold through the Las Vegas MLS in the past three months. That puts our inventory of homes at 3.7 months and condos and townhomes at 4.5 months. Six months worth of inventory is believed to be a normal real estate market. Now you may think, what are these guys talking about? Everything they say points to a still appreciating market. And you are right, the median price went up a bit in November and December. This table shows total sales of Las Vegas residential real estate in the past six years. Our current inventory of single-family homes is 18% and condos and townhomes is 13% more than January of 2014 
And while total sales have gone down by about 12% from the past year and 20% from two years ago, the loss of real estate investors is mainly responsible for this. If this trend continues in 2015, we should hit six months worth of inventory sometime in 2015, and we may see a gradual decrease in the median prices afterwards. Let's talk about the most important factor, Las Vegas real estate investor activity. Massu checks out all new listings and those that fell out of escrow in about 50% of the Las Vegas Valley every day and tracks the best available listings that he finds for our real estate investors. He says that many of the best values that would have sold quickly and with multiple offers just a few months ago are not going under contract quickly and the most important reason is loss of real estate investors which is cut by about half from the peak of about 60% in February of 2013. Additionally, much of the investment activity is in condos and townhomes rather than single family homes, and this number will go further down with more price gains. The reason for the loss of Las Vegas real estate investors is that the cash on cash return after property tax and HOA fees has fallen to 6 to 7.5 percent for good investment properties and when you deduct 2 to 3 percent in other expenses like property management or property insurance the net return on the money is at about 3 to 4.5 percent which many investors do not find attractive. Herein lies their error. The Las Vegas economy is catching fire while Las Vegas added 100,000 private sector jobs since 2011 40,000 were added in the past six months, and this was before the sharp drop in gas prices. Expected legalization of marijuana in 2016 will add much fuel to the fire. However, it will take some time before we see the effect on the employment and housing market, and that is the reason that we will see significant price gains starting in 2017. Even though we do not see any price gains in 2015, we predict at least 30% price appreciation in five years, in addition to the rental income, which will bring the return on the money to double digits. Those who doubt our predictions may want to read the following. When home prices were still in free fall in May of 2011, we wrote in a blog post titled, Why You Should Invest in Las Vegas Real Estate in 2011. If you want to look like a genius in five years from now, buy all the Las Vegas real estate you can buy today. We say the same thing in 2015. If you want to look like a genius five years from now, buy all the Las Vegas real estate you can buy today. But then again, there is one big difference between 2011 and 2015. In 2011, we had no trouble finding great deals due to three years of price drops. Well, in 2015, we can see the exact opposite situation. Home prices have gone up for 33 out of the past 36 months. What is the result of price appreciations in 33 out of the past 36 months for Las Vegas, Henderson, and North Las Vegas homes, condos, and townhomes? Overpriced listings in the Las Vegas MLS because sellers have not yet seen two consecutive months with price cuts since 2012 and they are expecting significant price gains that we believe will not come in 2015. In order to give you an idea, the median price of single family homes sold in December 2014 is about $41,000 less than those listings that have not gone under contract. As for condos and townhomes, there is less discrepancy due to some listings that are in low income neighborhoods that require much repair and are failing to sell. This is the reason that it is currently very difficult to find good residential real estate deals in Las Vegas, and even when a buyer finds the right home or condo, getting a good deal may require one or more price cuts before making an offer. This is Kieran Saberzadeh with Realty One Group and LasVegasForUs.com, wishing you a great day.